Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Celetti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.5 from the chapter number 4. The problem is design a combinational circuit with three inputs X, Y, Z and three outputs A, B and C. That means we have here three inputs X, Y and Z and we have to find out the respective A, B, C output. Okay. Then we are given with these conditions. When the binary input is 0 1 2 and 3 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 then the binary output is 2 greater than the input that means if we have 0 0 0 input they will then we will have 0 1 0 that means 0 will be converted to 0 plus 2 and if there is suppose 3 then we have to add 2 and we have to write 5 in the outputs and the next condition is when the binary input is 4 5 6 and 7 the binary output is 2 less than the input. For these 4, 5, 6, these are the decimal digits and for the respective binary digits, we have to subtract 2 and we have to represent it in the form of output. Okay, now let us make the truth table here. So here we have 3 inputs x, y and z and we have 3 outputs a, b and c. Okay, in the first condition, we are given that when the binary input is 0, 1, 2 or 3. Okay, for this, that means this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. For these inputs, what we have to do? We have to add 2 for the outputs. That will be the output. Here we have 0, 0, 0. So we have to write 2. 0 plus 2 will be 2. So we'll write it as 0, 1, 0. And here we have 1. Then we have to write here 3. Okay, so we'll write 0, 1, 1. And for this one is 2. So we'll have to write 4 1 0 0 and then we have we have 3 we have to write here 5 1 0 1 these outputs are as per the first condition given okay in the second condition when the binary input is 4 5 6 or 7 this condition the binary output will be 2 less than the input okay here we can see that we have 1 0 0 1 0 0 means 4 so we have to uh, subtract 2 so we'll get 2 so we have to write 0 1 0 0 1 0 this one is 5 okay 5 minus 2 is 3 so 0 1 1 okay this one is 6 so we have to subtract 2 we'll have 4 1 0 0 and this is 7 7 minus 2 is 5 1 0 1 Okay, so this is the truth table. Now, what we have to do, we have to find out the three variable map because it is a three variable for this A, B, and C separately. Finally, we have to draw the logic circuit. Okay, so for suppose for A, K map for A. Okay, suppose for A, we will have this one is X, Y, Z. x y z 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 so this one is x this is y and this is z okay so now we have to put this a values here 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 okay so from here we can see that this is nothing but this combination so what we'll get we'll get a is equal to so from this two row we'll get y a equal to y so for the circuit for a will be just suppose this is y if it is the y input then directly connect it to a so this is the output a this is the logic circuit directly you connect the y input to output port a now we will find out for B. So let us draw it. Now we have to put this B value. So it is 11001100. Now let us put in the K map. So 1100 again 1100. Okay, so we can combine like this. So what we will get? So B equal to, so from here B equal to, so from this two it is Y bar y bar so if we have y input use an inverter okay so we'll get here b this is after this inverter it will be y bar okay or y complement so this is the output b now let us go to our third part of the problem in the third part we have to make the k map for c so if we make the k map we'll get 
So for C, what we have? We have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So we have to put here in this table 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1. So we can see that 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we have put here in this table 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1. So we can combine like this. So we'll get C equal to this is nothing but Z. Okay. So here you can see that Z value is 1 for both these two. Y will be cancelled because Y have 0 and 1 values. X also have 1, 0 and 1 values. So we will be at Z. So the circuit diagram will be Z directly connected to the C output. So thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.